All right, so I just got done with a super long session in the middle of the spring heat at Granite Skate Park. Holy moly, it is starting to get hot. It's starting to get hot out there. And uh, one thing I wanted to do when I was at the skate park was film a little video going over what is in my skate bag when I go to the skate park. I've got a lot of questions. People say like, what do you need to bring for like your first time at the skate park? And while I'm not an expert, I have a pretty good bag of things that I think will cover pretty much anything and everything people are gonna need. So let's go take a look at that right now. All right, so here we are. This is my bag and uh, yeah, I think that it has all the necessities. I think the first thing you wanna do if you're gonna be filming anything is bringing up your tripod or something to like prop up your phone or camera with. It's pretty nice. These are pretty cheap and uh, you know, this is just my fiance's. I've been using it for a while. You also, not included in the bag, you need your board, obviously. And then the thing that I always recommend is helmet. I think helmet's super important. Even if you don't wanna be that person that like uses a helmet at the skate park, there's some tricks I think you're gonna eventually need that little extra bit of confidence to attempt. And the helmet, just having the helmet with me in case I need it is usually enough to give me that extra little oomph that I need to work on something that might be a little bit scary. Going into the rest of it, we got some water, obviously. That high quality H2O. This is not actually Fiji water, it's just the bottle. I drank the water a while ago and I just refilled this thing up every day. Drink a lot of water. You could also bring something like this. If you're someone that's gonna be there for like a long time, loading up on one of these things before your session, it's pretty good. I'm actually gonna have this right now since I just got done. I forgot to have it before, but I'm gonna have this right now. And uh, don't forget to shake these things up. As far as anything else in the actual bag itself, I got a little bit of wax if you need it. Um, and I also like to bring uh, gloves if I'm working on anything. First of all, if it's cold, if you're there in the mornings, gloves can sometimes be nice, but you can also use gloves to work on some uh, finger flip stuff if you're gonna be touching your grip tape for freestyle. Gloves are pretty nice. And uh, the last little thing that I have in here is a little bit of compression tape in case I do end up like tweaking my ankle or something like that. Compression tape can sometimes be kind of nice. You can get this in a lot of different places. And uh, yeah, uh, I think compression tape is sometimes pretty good uh, for, you know, helping yourself heal before you even get home. As far as the front pouch, there's a couple other things that I like to keep in my bag. And let's take a look at that right now. You got your wallet, obviously. Can't drive to the skate park without your wallet. Uh, you have a skate tool. The necessity, this is the number one thing everyone's gonna have in their uh, skate bag usually. It has all the different things you need to tighten up your trucks, tighten up your wheels, put on any new parts, tighten up any screws that are on your board. And these are definitely, definitely required. These are pretty cheap as well. You can get these at most skate shops. Um, other than that, got your wireless headphones. Obviously, gotta listen to some music when you're skating. I don't actually like listening to music in both my ears because I like hearing you know, what's going on around me so I don't run into anybody. But uh, usually having just one ear with one of these is pretty nice. And having the wireless headphones um, is great as opposed to ones with wires. That's just been pretty great. Got a little bit more wax, got some extra bushings in case you break your bushings. Um, the bushings I like to ride are the Kiro, Cairo bushings, the super hard ones, but like a pair of hardcore extra bushings is never a bad idea. Uh, extra set of bearings just cause, you know, reds are pretty cheap, just throw these in here. Um, any extra hardware, pens, um, an extra set of grip tape just in case for if I wanted to like sand something down um, that was like peeling off from the top of the grip tape or something that sort of like peel off, I could cut that away, sand this down and it'd be good to go. And uh, last but not least, I think something that I always like carrying in here is, where is it? It's going to be the belt buckle that I got from the 2021 World Freestyle Roundup Online Showdown. I didn't place very well in that competition, but it was my very first like skateboarding competition like ever. And I always like to carry this with me. So when like, I can't really get a trick or I can't, um, you know, do something I want to do, or maybe like I had a trick last week and now I've just like lost it from not practicing it. I like to bust out this belt buckle, take a little quick look at it. And uh, just remember that freestyle is supposed to be fun and skateboarding is supposed to be fun. And it's not all about getting a clip or not all about landing a trick. It's just about having fun. So that is my bag. I think the other things in here are just like keys, flax, 
receipts, obviously, you know, the essentials. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget your water. Don't forget your helmet. And uh, hopefully you guys have a good time at your local skate parks or wherever you're going to be skateboarding. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, more skate clips next time. Peace out.